Hostinger Website Builder SEO Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the SEO settings for a Hostinger website that you have created. So the process is going to be um, using or uh, visualizing all the pages, nearly all the pages of the website, uh, and it is not going to include unfortunately the uh, blog pages so you are going to set them manually so for the seu settings we are going to get a little bit of help from the hostinger platform to ameliorate or let's say make better the pages that we have on the hostinger so they are going to get or the trust of the seos and also it is going to be friendly for the search engines now let's head over the H panel of Hostinger, which is going to be the dashboard of the websites. Now we are going to click on websites. From here, we are going to select websites list. And then we are going to head over the website that we want. So here, as you can see, we have two websites. Now what I'm going to do is to head over my website that is uh, going to be either with a temporary domain or the uh, setup domain it is going to be um, the same thing but uh, you need to change the temporary domain to a, uh, a a normal or a standard domain so you are going to get the profit or you are going to get the full extension of the um, hostinger website builder so we are going to click on edit website now we are going to wait for the website to load up. Once you have the website loaded, you're going to have it just like that. Now, what I am going to do basically is to head over the left side of the screen. We're going to see this little control panel. We have here the site chat up or uh, check up, as you can see, set up. Here we have the adding elements, as you can see. You can uh, add or throw in or drag and drop some elements from here. You have the pages and navigations, and we have the uh, uh, website styles and etc. Now, what I am going to do basically in here, you can see that we have in this specific AI or this AI tools, we have AI image generator, AI writer, uh, page generator, and etc. And we have AI SEO assistant. So you are going to click on it. And it will take you to this specific uh, case, which is going to be the more settings, SEO settings. This is the same one. You can head over the website overview and see the business or brand name. You can put here the business or brand name like that. For example, I'm going to put here Jack Smith. And also, uh, for example, clothing, just an example, uh, clothing store, we're going to make it like this the website language you can go ahead and put the website language so we are going to click on here this is the first thing that you need to do then you're going to get the suggestions that you need to require the attention into the specific pages so for example for business brand name and also the website language we have this check that means that this is okay but for the improvement for founding or finding the home page you're going to have it in here. So you're going to set up or use the SEO assistant. So you can generate new SEO info like here or read where you are going to have the faulty specific cases. So for example, we are going to see the search result preview. You are going to have it right there. Uh, you can hide the page from the search engine or results. And also you can see the focus keyword. So we are going to add focus keyword as, for example, clothing. Uh, I'm going to type in here clothing store, for example. We have it in here, clothing. I have this keyword. This is the first one. For example, store. We can add also together clothing store. Just like that. And you have the keyword set. So as you can see, this is the um, the thing that we have regulated at first, the keyword. You can set up the um, uh, the SEU title, which is not going to be empty, and it is not. And also the title length should be, for example, between 10 and 60 characters. This or the current count is only four. Uh, the SEO title should include a focus keyword, which is going to be clothing, uh, clothing for example. 
we're going to put here the title for the homepage of something like here. We're going to rename it so it is going to change in here. So I'm going to put here um, new uh, clothing or clothing rival rival just like that and as you can see we have set up the first thing now you can add for example the uh, meta description which is or which should not be empty and we're going to have here the main uh, keyword or focus keyword as you can see for example for store or clothing or whatever keyword that you have chosen and etc so for example we have the best clothing for example store that you can find anywhere you cannot for example you can not find anywhere so you can go ahead and add at the a specific as you can see here uh, description I'm going to put here a comma so we are going to see only the um, green uh, text adding up and then you can have here some other seo tips like at least 200 words are recommended for this page currently your word count is 200 and less than 300 also you can add the image alternative text is recommended so you only have one out of six so that means that the images that we have here are not going to be set up and the final one only use only h1 heading on the on this page so you can go ahead and click on here edit the text and use only the uh, heading one on this page for example you can see that we have some of the uh, text set up as heading ones we are going only to put here heading ones as for the titles we are going to have it like this and then you are going to put it as heading one heading one and etc so basically you're going to have it like this and then you're going to visit in here and see normally it is going to uh, read all of the uh, instructions that you have set and etc do not forget to set up the update or update the website so it is going to have everything set up and also ready to receive the uh, appreciation from the seos aside from that onto this specific area you can click on generate new seo right there and then you're going to have the next step so you can go ahead and up, uh, set up the seo text and then but uh, you're going to set everything in here but unfortunately it is going to be included only on the business plan and not on the plan or the subscription plan that we have set each one of the pages are going to be uh, specifically or separately set up and each one of them is going to have something not in common in uh, between them or something common is going to be here dependent on the page for example for the services we have here uh, not we have not the specific uh, heading one or h1 specific um, uh, alert as you can see as you have in here you have it uh, on re the refund policy and the new collection is not set so you are going to see that each one of the page has its specific seo setting and you can go ahead and modify them and make sure that you're going to achieve the green ticks every uh, on every page so with that you're going to ensure that you have set up everything that was on the main page only or the main pages also you can go ahead and add or check up the uh, specific product page and see the different uh, seo settings that you can or you need to add for example here uh, here a keyword I'm going to put here this uh, something like uh, base clothing or store store like that I'm going to have here this as a keyword focus so we have the keyword focus in here we are going to add store for example and you're going to see that it is going to be in here so basically you have uh, for example I'm going to just let you see that it is going to be very easy to add these uh, and you are going to see that everything is set up so here the page is going to be okay normally you are going to get the green tick so basically you are going to put the same or all of the specific 
needed um, steps in here and then you are going to be good to go basically that was all for today's video uh, I have forgot something about the blog so you're not going to see it in here that means that you're going to add your blog manually and then you're going to have it uh, put in here so you are going to have it manually added you can generate the images and also you can generate the text if you want uh, with the ai writer and it will facilitate the task for you a lot that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next